Until about a decade ago, we knew very little about the first six months of life in mule deer ecology. Fawns are secretive. Uh, when mom gives birth, they hide for the first several days and then they're almost impossible to catch. And starting about a decade ago, we developed technology where we could find those fawns uh, within one to two days of birth. That enables us to capture those animals and follow those animals through that first six months of life. A few years ago, there were some concerns brought up by the sportsmen in the area that the deer population here wasn't doing so well. So we decided to start this project with that goal in mind to figure out why that might be. So we've been catching and collaring newborn fawns for the past three years. Uh, we've been analyzing their survival and looking at cause-specific mortality to try and just figure out why they might be dying in such large numbers, why the recruitment is so low up here, and hopefully we can use that information to implement the changes we need to improve the deer population here. The way that the division manages deer, as far as it relates to population growth, is we look at fawn production, fawn survival, and the survival rates of does. And that dictates whether your population is increasing or decreasing. And the way that we typically look at fawn to doe ratios is in November, and it spurred a lot of questions as to, well, what happens from the time that they're born in June to the time in November? How many are produced, and, and what are their survival rates during that time? And we had limited data. Partners like the SFW are important in this research. The research is expensive and they provide some of the funding for the research that we do. They have a lot of sportsmen and women that come and help actually do the field research. Okay, you ready? Yes, sir. You know, I've always wanted to give back. I think you need to give back. If, you, if you're hunting, you need to be giving back. You know, there's 100 ways to do that. I got involved with it because I wanted to know what the problem was. Um, you know, I, I heard these new callers were out, satellite callers, sending emails to uh, the researchers of BYU, and it, it just amazed me. Uh, the benefit of having SFW involved in this fawn study is that the, the funds that they've brought to the table to fund this project are priceless. These collars are expensive. You're talking about a fawn collar that's a telemetry collar that hooks to the mom's satellite collar, and all the data goes back and forth and sends emails through the mom's collar. These are expensive, and I think it's money well spent for the data we've gathered for our unit. We had several meetings with local sportsmen, and basically the deer herd wasn't thriving. We collared the does, we put in vaginal implant transmitters, and then come June when those transmitters come out and tell us that a birth has occurred, we're able to go in, catch those fawns, uh, and understand what is killing them, why are they dying, or if they're living, what factors are contributing to them being uh, alive. You know, through these studies, we're able to find out the exact facts of what is taking these fawns. And probably the biggest thing we've learned that is lions and bears have a larger impact on these fawns than actual coyotes in most units. And so now we've been able to go in and adjust those permit numbers to harvest those predators to allow our deer herds to come back. So one of the best parts of being involved with the state of Utah and SFW and our other partners in this research is that we get to mentor students and we get to teach students to become future wildlife biologists. And so this project, we've had two graduate students that have worked on the project and a handful of undergraduate students that have worked on the project. And seeing those students develop into our future managers has been really rewarding. The legacy I'd like to leave for my kids. I, I'm already leaving a legacy, taking them and showing them that I care about wildlife. Um, I see my kids continuing this. They love these transplants. They love these where we're capturing the does um, for the fawn study and putting the bits in and stuff. They love it. And uh, to me, you know, it just brings my heart joy 
to know that hopefully they carry on this tradition that I've started and that, you know, my dad started with me.